this really uh, unusually cloudy day in LA. A lot of trees in the background, huh? That's something. That's really, really nice. Well, it's the new year of trees tonight. And we're going to learn a little bit about this in this quick status year. This quick share about the two be seven fruits that Israel was blessed with, the holy land of Israel. And likewise, every Jew has all these seven different special produce. Um, two grains, wheat and barley, which include also spelt rye and oats, and five fruit, which is grapes, olives, pomegranates, figs, and dates. Inner pomegranate. It's a you have an inner pomegranate. That represents, there's a lot of seeds in that pomegranate. It represents 613 mitzvahs that every Jew is so full. Every Jew is so full of these mitzvahs. And it says even the most empty Jew is overflowing with mitzvahs like a pomegranate. Find that within yourself and find that love for every single Jew. And that's that sweet honey of the inner dimension of Torah, the secrets of Torah that you own, you own it. Every Jew really owns the whole Torah. So, kind of get a bunch of trees in here. There's a lot of trees out here. Do you know that there's like this whole forest service in Los Angeles that they take care of the trees? It's crazy. They know like every, apparently they know where every tree is. Anyway, God bless you. And that's the year. You know, when the olive gets crushed, that's when it brings out the oil. There's a time between it being a nice plump olive and it becoming some fantastic, illuminating, and warm giving oil. That's a crushing moment. That's a crushing moment. Like between being an olive and oil, there's crush. The world is going through a big crush right now. Being zetzed. We want Mashiach more time now. Today. The olive is getting a little more time today. Olive also represents actually caring, actually giving a care about uh, what's going on with the Jewish people in the whole world. Like Miriam, the prophetess, sister of Moses, responsible for his birth. She really, really cared. She represents this, this bitterness of the olive. I don't know if you know this, because you get olives in the store probably, but olives are actually bitter before you process them. Pardon me, process them. And then they become nice and sweet olive oil. Grapes. grapes are fun, because you make grape juice out of them. People like me, we don't drink wine. Grape juice is just fine. Uh, that's a nice rhyme. So, the, the grape gives forth a sweet, 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 sweet grape juice or wine. The Rebbe made a decree, do not get drunk. Now over 40, more than this, you have a few shots. I was there, the Rebbe said, this is a decree. And no more than very small amount if a person can handle it. And what do we have that? Drain cleaning. That's exactly right. The figs. Figs, leaves represents... The first garments that Adam and Chava wore. And the garments of the person are our thoughts, our words, and our actions. We wear them on our sleeve. You may not know it, but when you're thinking, saying, or doing something, it's being broadcast. So, when we care about and do carefully our thoughts, words, and actions, that's good. The wonderful barley. Barley represents animal food in the Bible and in the Kabbalah. You gotta feed your animal. You gotta feed your kosher, indoor animal soul. Make a mensch out of him or her. And give it some good barley. Give it some good Torah that it can relate to. You know, it's easy to just broadcast to yourself, but when you get it, you actually get it. That's called some barley. You're barleying it. You're barleying it. Barley. Up to the wheat, chita. Chita is a medical value of 22. The 22 letters of the olive base. That's a for your neshama, your at your godly soul, which you have a godly soul, which is part of Hashem, waiting for this moment for thousands of years. Not just he should come down here downstairs and just have some physical pleasure. Your soul waited thousands of years to get here to be able to interact the body and the soul together. Do mitzvahs, bring Mashiach. We are the last generation of exile, first generation of Mashiach. Make this wheat dig for potatoes. You can dig and till that soil for the wheat. Barley, egg, uh, grapes, figs, dates, pomegranates, olives. Then you can go look for precious stones, for diamonds. You see a diamond in the rough that looks like a stone, a boring stone. You crack it open, you get a diamond. Also, the diamonds of the sea, those, those pearls, the oyster, the little oyster. 
no feet, no social media accounts, yeah. and the pearls, beautiful pearls, there's black pearls, there's white pearls. And not not really a glorious uh, not really a glorious uh, production site. It's in the bottom of the sea. The bottom dwellers they schmutz. In Yiddish we call it schmutz. But right there, that unlikely recipient of a fantastic, beautiful pearl is you. You know, just, there's nothing to go on. Just God, God gives you the pearl. Inner pearl, inner diamond. It takes a little more strategy and wisdom and patience. To, to find those, you, you're doing like you, as you're doing with wheat and barley and the other plants. You're working land, you're working with water and land. You're, you know, you're diving, you're, you're you're digging, but it takes a lot more time, energy, strategy, seichel, intellect. But it all takes trust in God.